Hello everybody, this is Leerbach, and welcome to Let's Play. What are we going to Let's Play this time? Let's find out. So in the SNES, made by 8, I'm sure many of you have already found out by now. Adventure. The war against Gaius has begun!
select the part that corresponds to it, in this case the weapon, and you equip the crack pad. Because it's an offense of six as opposed to two. So it gives a plus four offense. Which actually, speaking of which, brings us to our status screen. Um, not much there. It shows us our hit points, our psychic points, our experience points, experience for the next level, our offense, defense, speed, guts, vitality, IQ, and luck. Um, since we're playing a JRPG, it's not going to really matter what it is. More so, it's going to matter what your experience is, about what your level is. Um, yeah, we talked to our mother. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. Let's sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. Let me check, let me check out your games before you go. I'd like to know the mother in any culture that would let their son... There, let's see, I believe he's actually 15 years old, four, 13 years old, actually, excuse me, 13 years old, and she's letting him out on his own in the middle of the night after a thing hit the ground. A meteor struck the earth right, like, 15 feet from their house on top of the hill. Okay, anyway, so we talked to the dog. Besides you, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? And I'm probably making him sound more superficial than he actually is. Okay, so, we go into this way. We talk to this guy, and he just sits here talking about how he wants to get up to the meteorite first. Um, we go into this house, which is our neighbor's house, and we talk to this boy. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out here to chase after a police car. He said, Dicky, you should stay him. So I'm watching the house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. Hmm. No rhyme, no reason. They just went out to an elegant restaurant. Well, I guess they don't have to have a reason to go to go out to someplace risky every now and again. Okay, so basically we talked to the police officer. Actually, I think this is the only one that's actually interesting. The meteorite has landed. The sharks are wild in town. The kids are wandering around, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Out of all the cops, you basically say, oh, you shouldn't be down here, shoo, shoo, get out of the way. He, his has to be the funniest. Hilarious. Okay, so we keep heading down here, and we find another present. We check it out, and we get a bread roll. Bread rolls, they heal about 6 to 10 health whenever you use them. They're really good starting items, but as you, go, as you progress further through the game, they rather suck. And actually, that brings me up to another, bit, another thing about the menu. Items don't stack on each other, like in Final Fantasy. So you can't have, like, 99 health potions. You have bread roll, bread roll, bread roll, bread roll, and so on and so forth, until your items fill up. Then it will go on to the next character if you have room, if they have room. If not, you won't be able to hold any items. So, item management is very important. The guy up here is Liar X Adre. Hey, Ned. Hi, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat God and work out to help, my, help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably think. I also want to tell you. Whoops. I'll, I won't tell you about my. Uh, uh, by the way, Ned. Did you check out my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job. You know, I'm a billboard guy. I want to check out my work. Okay, check out. I believe you can talk to. You. Nope, you gotta check it out. Some things you can talk to. It says, Treasure Hunter. This is Liar X Address House. Yeah, I bet you that's a job of character. Okay. So, we talked to this poor over slob of a human being. Hey, man! Don't be rubber naked. You're getting in the cops. You're having the officer's way. You can get home now. Tomorrow I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I find you, but you're bugging the officer. Okay, so talk to this guy. Quill, get out of my way. Quill, get out of my way. Quill, get out of my way. Quill, I'm waiting. Oh, get my... What's my mistake? I mean, get out of my way. I mean, that guy must be a 
must be the uh, Sheriff of Rottingham from Rockford Men and Tight. <laughs> if anyone else get that reference, you guys have good taste. Nice timing, man. We do something about Pokey. He's like me. Are you friends? It doesn't matter. Now, it doesn't matter what you say, yes or no. I'm going to say no, just personally, I hate this guy. You're not friends? But aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. And you talk to this guy. Shh, shh. Not quite saying shoot. Shh. And I believe you talk to this guy. We are like different than usual. Strange marvel. I thought it was serious. Yeah. Okay, so that's about all we can do. So I think we're going to head back home. Um. Yeah, we're going the right way. I almost got lost here for a second. <clears throat> okay. Um. So yeah. This is Earthbound. Arguably one of the best games in, on the SNES. Certainly the best RPG in my opinion. Even better than Chrono Trigger. Yes, Chrono Trigger fanboys and fangirls. One of which I happen to know personally. Start your hate mail hate mail and then start hating in the comments. Just because I think different than you doesn't mean a thing. It's not necessarily, let's move on that. It's not necessarily talk about tonight. So, you get off the bed now. Now, I will say this, for all intents and purposes, I do like Chrono Trigger. It's not that I hate it or anything. It's a good game. I just happen to personally prefer Earthbound. Probably because it is different from your standard setting and just the overall wackiness. Okay, so we're woken up to a rude, rude knocking at our door that we can somehow hear from the top floor of our building, which, by the way, I live in a, I live in a two-story building as well. I can't hear that knocking on on the doors of my house. Holy crap, it's Pokey! Hey, listen to what I've got to say. I've been thinking that place over the mirror, and they're like, oh, dang it, man. You're looking lovely. You don't get it. Point. 
Good night, and good night. Okay. So, with that, I think we're going to end off the video for now. Um, yeah, next episode, we're going to say picky. See you guys later.